I'm going to show you a more manual way to create a random pattern that you have a little more control over. So let's get started. Make sure when you go to sign up for Printful and Etsy that you use my links down below that uh, lets Printful know that I'm the one that sent you. And also on Etsy, it gives you 40 free listings. So uh, make sure you use those down below. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. So we've been using our hot dog image. So we'll continue to do that. I've got a three by three square here. Again, this is just to create the pattern. So I'm going to place my item and I'm using that hamburger. So I'm going to select it here and then I'm going to embed it. Now what I'm going to do is just copy this. So I'm selecting it with my select tool, command C, command V to paste it. Or if you're not sure, um, if you don't have a Mac, you can do copy and then paste. Or you can grab another one and place it on there again. So let's say I've got this hamburger. I'm going to rotate it around a little bit. So I'm going to grab like four hamburgers. I'm going to size, oops, I forgot to select shift first. Um, size them, and just kind of place them around. <clears throat> I'm copying another one. Move this over here. And maybe I'll turn it a little bit. So um, if you don't like the randomizing tool because it's taking too long to find a, a random way that you like it, then you can do this. And I feel like that did what it was supposed to do. There we go. So let's say I've got these four now. And what I'm going to do is select them all. So I've got my selection tool selected. And I'm going to draw, um, hold out my mouse and select all of those. Then I'm going to right click on that and then I'm going to transform and one one way to do that is to move which just means I'm going to move a copy of it which is going to look just the same way. So move and then I'm going to click copy and that will give me exactly the same one so I can like grab those and bring them down here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is maybe rotate them. So I'm going to grab these same ones. You can um, do out transform, rotate, or you can right click and do it. So I'm going to do angle, I don't know. <laughs> you can just select whatever you like and play around with it. Make sure you hit copy, not OK, because if you hit OK, it's just going to rotate those ones that are there already. Copy, and it's like that now. So you can feel like, ah, oh, maybe I don't like that. So you can, you know, command Z to undo or edit undo. So let's come back again. That was too much of a, I'm going to transform, rotate. Let's do that 50% or 50 degrees, whatever. All right, grab those and bring them down. And then I can, you know, move them if I want. Like, oh, this one's too close to the other one. I'm going to move them over here. This one's too close over, over there. I'm going to grab you, move you over here. You know, like that. So then let's say you want to reflect them. Same deal, transform, reflect, and you can select vertical or horizontal. Maybe you want them upside down. Then you can do it like that. Oops, I forget to click copy. Ooh. C, um, transform, reflect, horizontal is what I wanted. Copy. So now I've got some that are upside down. Let's say you want the pattern really to be non-repeating. Um, and then you can just kind of grab the ones that are where you don't like them and stick them where you want them. But you've got more. I mean, you could do it manually and just grab and copy each one and place it the way you want it. <clears throat> but this is just another way if you were interested. And we'll do another um, video about creating patterns that are kind of hanging off the repeat that repeat. Um, in a different video, but for this for right now, if you want to make sure they're all kind of in the square. So now you've got your pattern and you want to keep this pattern forever. So let's say this is perfect. You love it. You're going to come and make sure you have your selection arrow selected and you're going to draw a rectangle around all of them and then drag them over to your swatch pattern panel rather. Um, so let's say we want to test this out and see how it looks. Now remember, we didn't create any kind of background, so this will be transparent. Um, if we're using this for Printful and Etsy, then we want to make sure that we've got a white background or a colored background, but we'll talk about that more later. So 
this is what it will look like when I, oops, I forgot to select that. So let's say I've got a rectangle. I'm just going to draw a rectangle up here. And I've got all of my hamburgers that are just floating around in different directions that I want them to be in. Um, again, you can come through and transform them. We talked about transforming them in their um, scale. If you want to make them smaller, then we can come through and do that with our pattern now that we've got it set as a pattern that's already non-repeating and all that. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much, you guys. Don't forget, you guys, I've got two links down below. One is for signing up for Printful, and the other one is to get your 40 free listings for Etsy. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Go down there and leave it a thumbs up, and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Was it clear? Did you understand? Or was there something I need to elaborate on? I really appreciate you coming to check it out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.